Okay, so here, I'll look for VLC. Oh wait, it seems it got added to the system at some point already. So I'm guessing the codecs that are supposed to come with VLC were previously installed as dependencies. Alright, I'll install OBS Studio. I don't think that's been installed yet. So yeah, I'm doing all of this so that I can record straight from the system as opposed to using a capture card that is admittedly a bit iffy in quality. Hmm. Alright, let me look for... What is it? Simple Video Recorder? No, that's not it. Simple Screen Recorder. So, I download Simple Screen Recorder as a backup in case I find myself having a hard time with OBS's settings. I've gotten better with OBS the more I've used it over time, though. Alright, it's installed. Five years later. Okay, so there's that little icon known as a plasmoid in KDE. An arrow with the blue dot over on the right side of the taskbar. That means it's update time. Normally, I'd be cautious and check the list of updates and look up items that might raise an eyebrow. But because this is a pretty new install and I have very little set up, I figured I could just install the updates blindly. I probably wouldn't do that on a fully set up system that's been in use though. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is a rolling distribution, or distro. A rolling distro is focused on giving a user the most cutting edge experience the distro's maintainers allow by making the newest incremental updates available for download regularly. OpenSUSE Leap, on the other hand, is, maybe was, depending on when I can get this video out, a stable distribution. A stable distro isn't really designed to offer constant cutting-edge updates, and it's for people who don't want their system's environment to change too often, which can make a given system more likely to break in unique ways that stable distros do. Don't get me wrong, rolling distros can break for their own reasons too. Stable distros are normally used for servers and for use cases where a user may be working on a crucial project and they don't want their system and its dependencies to change too often. While rolling distros are for users who don't have to rely on an environment that doesn't change often, generally anyways. Maybe you code and you push your updates to GitHub, or you aren't playing cutting-edge AAA games that require the latest graphics card, and you have all of your games saved on a second drive, or both. There's a multitude of absolutely valid reasons why you'd use a stable distro, but that may be another day's video. Anyways, talk to you in the next section.